Okay, here we are. Um, this is the second problem in our area of segments uh, section. So we're doing the area of the segment. If you remember, the segment is this part here. It's the part that's created by the chord, which is a line that goes through a circle but not through the middle, and the outside of the circle. So it's this little blue area here. In class, you probably are well aware that many of you spend much of your time just trying to figure out exactly how insane I am, so I thought I would spend a second to show you how I'm trying to organize to set up these videos for you, so I decided that the paper itself is best organized for me in this fashion, so it's circle, sector, se triangle, and segment, and we'll talk about more about that paper in just a minute. So below it, I put down all the stuff that I have, sector, circle, triangle, segment, and pens next to all of them. That way, when I talk to them, I try to use the actual colors. You can just see my shoes there. Um, try to use the exact colors that match, so everything matches and it's all, you know, well organized for you. So, uh, I guess the answer to your question is a lot. So, how crazy am I? It would be a, a lot. So, but our real question mathematically at this point is, what is the area of this segment. So I have to think about what things make up this segment here. So there's a lot of things that are involved. So I think that this is best organized in a nice fashion. So I started to do this, which I kind of like. I just draw a circle, or not a circle, I draw a rectangle in the middle and I put lines in about the midpoints of each one. So I go ahead and do circle and then I find sector and then I find triangle, and then I find segment. So uh, in the, the Bible, which I'm using as a historical reference here, not as a religious one, I know it's a public school, but it does say um, uh, some, uh, someone begat someone else. It's sort of a way that they identify lineage. They're trying to draw a line between people from the past and uh, people later on in the story or uh, from between Abraham and Jesus and that whole line. That's kind of how they go. So in a way, it's like circle begets sector, begets triangle and segment, and then somehow triangle gets eliminated. So I guess that's a whole other story. But it's just something that happens there. So it's, for some reason, it kind of reminded me of that. And I'm sure there's other parallels in other different books. Since I do uh, sort of an Eastern religious reference in some of my other videos. I thought for this one I'd throw that in there for you, but it's sort of you go in this order and it's really easy to find the segment. I left this segment, by the way, open. Not this segment, but this segment, so this rectangle, open so that I can talk about the triangle. This time the triangle is not the 90 degree angle that we had before, so this could get a little bit more complicated because I don't have that 90 degree angle that I was so needing. And as you know, the very first thing you always want to do when you do a triangle is to touch the right angle. Well, we can't do that right now, so we'll get into more of that in just a second. But first things first, circle is the starting point. It's the major, <clears throat> it's the big um, shape here. It kind of looks like Pac-Man. This one looks much more like Pac-Man than previous ones. I guess I shouldn't have done that because this was going to be the copy that I'll keep, but oh well, I'll make another one. Um, so here's my circle. So the first thing that I need to do if I'm going to find area of segment is try to find the area of the whole circle because if I had to find the area of one part I need the whole thing first it gives me some sort of size reference or directive so I've got this area of a circle is pi r squared all the kids sing along maybe you're doing it yourself I'm hoping so it seems stupid I know but eventually if you do it enough times it's really stupid but you know it helps you remember the formula you could you'll be even more worried when I show up with my new um, Pythagorean Theorem formula song and uh, I've got one going for all the area formulas of uh, four side of three side figures. Anyway, pi r squared. Four in this case is the radius because it goes from the center of the circle to the side. So all I have to do is type in pi times and I'm going to put four in parentheses just like this. 50.3s because the 2 is knocked up by the 6 or pushed up because 6 is 5 or greater. So I'm going to put 50.3 and let's make it units squared so this will be 4 units. 
it's just a generic unit. It doesn't. It could be inches or miles or feet or whatever you want it to be. So, for you on the gateway, it may be a little hard to start cutting circles out. Or not on the gateway. I'm sorry. On the ACT, it might be a little tough to start cutting circles out and things. So, I thought I would uh, sort of organize the thought process a little bit. Many of you have an extended time, and some of you have like pretty much forever. So, for the circle, if I'm doing a, if I have to do a segment, um, the first thing I do is pi r squared. And as we figured out before, so I'm going to sort of cheat a little bit there. It's not cheating. I did all the work, so I'm just transferring 50.3 squared, or 50.3 units squared. Not 50.3 squared, because what I said was absolutely the biggest mistake made once you start seeing this stuff. Look where the square is. It's on the units, not on the number. So don't start going in and squaring 50.3 and figuring out, or trying to wonder why you have such a large circle. That's not the case here. So, in my little uh, physical diagram of this, I've got the area of the circle all worked out and everything's great, grand, and wonderful. So the next part I'm going to deal with is the sector, because now I have the whole thing. So I need to get the part out of there. So I'm going to yank that sector out. And if you remember, or maybe you don't, the sector is just a slice of the circle. It's kind of like a slice of the pie. Who knows why I decided I needed to put the... Uh, quotation marks there because the slice, and I'm making air quotations right now which you can't see, it's sort of a stupid bit to do if I'm uh, making, it's kind of like doing a physical comedy over the radio, but I am making air quotes around slice of the circle. It's kind of like the slice of pizza. This looks a little bit more like pizza, but cheap pizza that has ketchup instead of uh, uh, tomato sauce, I suppose. Anyway, we're going to find the area of that sector, and if you watched the last video, number one, thanks a lot for sitting through that whole thing. And by the way, if you're a parent and you're helping your student by sitting through this video, um, good on you, because a lot of people won't, and it's a, it's a lot of work, so I do appreciate any help that you can give, because I'm obviously just trying to get by and anything that you can do, and I'm sorry, I hope this is more fun than your math class was in high school. I'm sure it's not that much fun, but at least you can see where everything comes from, I hope. So I'm going to do the sector. Here it is. See, it's red. It matches up. So the what I need to do here is look at the sector as a portion of that circle. So I need to think of it in terms of, oh, it's a part of it. So it's a slice of the whole thing. So if I can do a part over whole scenario, I could certainly figure out uh, the area here because I have enough information. I know from a measure perspective or something with degrees, let's say, the part of this segment is the 60, so 60 degrees. I know the whole thing, that whole big circle, is 360. If you didn't know, ask someone who skates or uh, snowboards or whatever, and they'll tell you. So 60 over 360. So that's a measure comparison. Now let's do a, uh, a length comparison. Or, sorry, an area comparison. I'm doing arcs. Lose my mind. So I'm going to do an area comparison. So the area, the whole area, is the area of the circle we figured out before. So that was 50.3 units squared. The part is what I'm trying to figure out. That's actually the sector area. So put SA there for short, which is not like a long thing that you have to write. So what I'm going to do here is, of course, is cross multiply and divide. So I'm going to type in 50.3, and you can't see it even though you can see my screen. I'm just making sure I type it in correctly. 50.3 times 60 degrees gives me 3,018. Then that equals 360 SA. Don't you know I'm loco? And that looked really complicated, so I'm just going to circle this SA just so you know it's a variable term, because it looked like 3,605A, so I guess that's what Canadians call 3,605. Anyway, we're going to get rid of the 360 by dividing. So my sector area, let's see if I can fit it all in here. This is much easier to fit in with a pen, by the way, as opposed to a marker. But... Uh, I already left it on my screen conveniently, so I'm going to divide by 360 and hit, and I get 8.38, and I'm going to knock that up to 8.4. And that would be units squared. That's a really reasonable answer, because if you look at the 660, it's breaking the uh, whole circle into six parts, 
And if I take 50.3 and divide by 6, it gives me 8.38. So that's really a reasonable area. So 8.4 units squared for my sector area. Now I'm going to look at the circle in terms of, uh, from only from the sector perspective from now on, but I'm going to break that sector perspective into parts. Match this up. So what I'm really looking for, let me move this out of the way, to find the area of segment, in this case the segment happens to be blue. So here's my whole sector, which we just found, and once again I'm overpronouncing the word sector for a reason. It should be sector, but segment and sector sound very similar, so I try to do sector for no good reason, other than I think it might differentiate it in your mind. If I just need this, but I have all this, what if I just pulled that off? Oh, this is all that's left to show it a little more conveniently. We'll uh, just put this part together. So if I have the whole sector, which matches up perfectly, by the way, I will pull this off, and this will be left. So this is the last part we're dealing with. But where I need to go from here, 